Hello everyone, it's Justin here from Meridian Vocational College. Today, the unit we're going to be talking about is prepare seafood dishes. So I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown of your assessments, okay, and cover those um, in detail. Um, let's look at first what this term seafood um, actually means. Um, so this is, this is covering any aquatic life um, that we have here uh, in Australia or around the world. Um, so this might be, there's different categories of seafood. So we'll cover those as we go through. Um, a lot of seafood that we get here um, in Australia and South Australia um, are also very seasonal. Okay, so it depends on the time of year, the location, also the temperature of the, um, the water and the climate as to, to what type of uh, fish or shellfish we can get in that region. We're very lucky here. We have wide um, expansion, expanses of oceans, rivers and lakes uh, all throughout the country. Um, and especially in South Australia, we have just a beautiful um, selection of uh, shellfish and fish. We have the Spencer Gulf. Many of you would be familiar with um, the Spencer Gulf King Prawns. Also, we have uh, some of the world's best uh, tuna coming from that area as well. Um, often a lot of our tuna gets sent over to other parts of the world, especially Japan. So we have yellowfin and bluefin tuna. We also have amazing uh, oysters. There's an area you may be familiar with uh, called Coffin Bay. We have mussels, we have um, garfish, calamari, snapper, um, just kingfish, so many different varieties, hundreds of varieties here. Um, and we're so lucky to have access to this because so many cafes, restaurants will put this fish um, on, onto their menus. And Australians and travelers and people coming to visit the country um, really enjoy eating um, seafood. The multiple choice questions that you'll be going through uh, this unit, um, there's a couple examples that we have. For instance, one question will ask you to name how many fillets that you get on a flat and round fish. Okay, so have a think about that. As we go through the unit, I'll be going in a little bit more depth about the different categories of, of fish. Um, another multiple choice question will ask you about um, a correct cookery method okay, for a particular style of uh, fish and then you have to select the correct answer from there. As we move forward, we've got to go into the short answer questions. One example of a question that you um, will see there on your assessment will be asking you to briefly describe how you can peel a whole prawn. Another question there is what are three modern sauces or dressings that can accompany seafood? Then when we go through your short answer multiple choice, you come to your, your tasks, task one and task two. So in task one, you'll be asked to read the recipe. Remember, it's very important that when you see a recipe, you look through, check the ingredients, check to make sure that you're familiar with those ingredients, and then read through the method from the beginning to the end. For example, you have a question there asking you, so this dish is a coconut poached salmon served with some Asian greens. The question will ask you, how is salmon categorized under the fish classic classification system? So is it the shape, the habitat, and the flesh? And then from there, you'll be able to se select your answer. Another question will ask you if you have a whole side of salmon and the recipe is asking you to remove the skin from the flesh, what knife would you select? to allow you to have as minimal damage to the flesh um, as possible. Okay, so remember, think back, the right tool for the right job. Do we use a chef knife? Do we, do we use a filleting knife? In task two, you're again, you're going to be looking at another recipe. 
So this will be a crowned uh, prawn cutlet. One of the questions there, for example, will be asking you what method of cookery are you going to be using to cook this dish? Another question will be what is an appropriate garnish? Okay, so remember when you think about garnish, think about the dish itself, think does it complement and also think can I eat this uh, garnish? This is very important. Over the next two weeks, you'll be doing some really beautiful recipes in this seafood unit. Let me go through some of these and just give you a little bit of an exp explanation about these. First week, you'll be doing a pan fried fish. Okay, so that might be some garfish, that might be some flathead, it might be a nice fillet of red snapper. So what we do is we do a light crumb or we do a, just a little dusting in plain flour and then we do a little shallow fry. So this is going to be served with some uh, Mediterranean flavours, the pan fried fish. You'll also be making a serve of Thai fish cakes using an oily fish, so using most likely some salmon. And there's a different way of cooking these ones. So you're actually going to be using the fruit processor. We're going to put some really great uh, Asian flavors amongst those Thai fish cakes. We'll have some chili, some garlic, some ginger. And that's going to be uh, served. So again, they'll be formed into a small little um, dish shape. And then you'll cook those off and they'll be served with uh, a little nam jim, which is an Asian uh, Thai dressing. Also, we'll be making a paella. This is a Spanish dish, okay? Always served actually in the paella pan itself. Uh, but this is one of my favorites uh, to make and also to eat. Uh, so paella is using a whole range of seafood. Traditionally, there's some white flesh fish. There'll be some prawns mussels and often there's some chorizo and it's a rice dish. So this is a perfect dish to, to practice here at the college um, and when we go into say kitchen you'll be learning how to make paella um, and great one to cook for your family and friends at home. With the paella there's also a really key ingredient to get a really lovely yellow colour and this is uh, saffron. So a really important part. Saffron is one of the world's most expensive uh, herbs. On week two, we'll be doing uh, four dishes. So we'll be doing a baby octopus. So we'll be learning how to remove the skin, how to clean down the octopus, and also how to clean, uh, sorry, how to cook this to make sure it doesn't become overcooked and too tough and chewy. You'll also be doing a stuffed squid. So you'll be learning how to um, clean down um, the squid, baby squid, and do a risotto to fill this and it will be cooking in some tomato sauce, a really lovely dish. Also, we'll be working with some shellfish. So you'll be making a scallop, uh, little pan fried scallops. Again, with seafood, I think about seafood as very quick, fast food. Okay, it takes no longer than one or two minutes uh, to cook. So that's a little bit of an overall um, explanation of the seafood unit. Thank you.